Uh, hello. Uh, this is Buddy Biscuits, and I wanted to make a little tutorial on how I do uh, the community jumps, or Ogi jump, or whatever you want to call it. It's basically getting from the bottom of uh, Ogi Manor all the way to the top to fight Lockshock Barrel. Uh, for some newer runners, this will definitely be a harder trick or platforming mechanic to learn. So I wanted to kind of uh, give my perspective and details on it since I've been practicing it lately. And uh, a lot, <laughs> the best way, some of the best ways to practice is to actually, uh, is to teach so that you kind of teach yourself as you go along. So I just wanted to make this. So yeah, basically I'll kind of run through it at the very start and show you how it looks. And then I'll go step by step on the, to the very details kind of like chunk it up and uh, explain it that way. So this is basically what it should look like. This is the way I do it anyhow. There are multiple uh, different, well, for the first jump anyway, there are multiple different ways. Uh, but, uh, and even then after that first jump, you can kind of do it however which way you want to, but yeah, that's it basically right there. So, yeah, that's uh, that's how you get all the way up to the top of Oogie's Manor. See, what you're doing is you're skipping going through this door entirely. Uh, normally what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to kill these Heartless, open this door, and then there's a torch that you're supposed to light on fire, which will then allow you access to uh, the upper area here. But uh, about a year ago, a few, maybe give or take a, a couple months, we discovered a way to get all the way up to the top without having to open that door in the first place, and it saves quite a bit of time. So uh, I'm gonna kind of go step by step how I uh, how I did that. So in my opinion, the hardest part of this trick is the very first jump, getting on uh, on that on this tiny little uh, ramp up here. Like I'll just get right here, right here. I'll even use my mouse, I suppose. This little part right here is the hardest... Getting up on here, for me, is the hardest part of this entire jump. Uh, because it's so narrow, as you can see. And getting on top of that, and then jumping from here all the way to out here, is uh, without this guy hitting you, without this mummy, or white knight, whatever, without this guy actually hitting you, is uh, it's what I consider the hardest part. So I'm going to show you... Uh, actually, here. I'm not sure if I should really kill these guys. No, I'll just I'll just despawn them. This is what I uh, this is what I used to do, and I highly advise against doing this. I just I recently kind of avoided doing this. Uh, this method of getting onto that ledge. So I'm gonna show you exactly what not to do. What you should not do is get right up next to it and then try and hop on like that. I know a lot of people do it, and some people get like really, really used to it, like, you know, it's whatever, but when you're kind of like under pressure and you have to do like this really tiny analog flip to get on top of this little uh, ledge right here, it can be really, really uh, daunting and frustrating and hard to do. So I highly suggest, because, suggest against it, because uh, what you'll either do sometimes when you fail it is you'll either not go far enough, which can cause even more stress and cause you to fail, give you make you uh, give you a higher chance of missing it, or you'll just go way too far. You'll ledge grab it, and then uh, what will most likely happen is one of the guys will just hit you off, and you'll fall down, which will waste a lot of time. So I don't suggest getting up right next to it. What I suggest doing is I suggest jumping from a distance and trying to uh, use the the vertical distance or the verticalness of the ledge to your advantage. Basically, instead of trying to jump on this really, really thin thing, try to jump at it from, like, the vertical standpoint or horizontal standpoint, whatever. The, the, make it, make it longer by jumping at it from that, uh, let me just show you. Better to show. So, like, from right here, I would say, from the middle of the staircase or so, I would jump, uh, onto the thing. When you jump, like, when you're in midair already, and you already have like your maximum height, it's way easier to control uh, where you go, and and control how you land on this thing. So like from here, you just do that, and it's way easier to get all the way over here. There's like no problem whatsoever. So like, I'll just show again, I suppose. 
Just like roll up to right around here and then like right there like that's your maximum height as long as you jump and hold forward and like what i meant by like the verticalness try to line yourself align yourself up so that you like you almost use like this pumpkin thing right here as a backboard like you almost want to aim for it a little bit like from right here if you if you jump straight towards that then you'll like, if you just keep on holding forward, if anything, you're just going to run into that and it's going to stop you. Instead of trying to jump at it from this way right here. And if you and you'll have, like, no frame of reference for, like, for when to stop. If you know what I mean. So. That's what I consider the hardest part of the jump. Once you get that down, the rest of it really is pretty simple. To be honest. But, I mean, I'm definitely going to go through it. I, it's step by step to show you exactly how to do it. So let's keep on going. So roll, roll, roll. Jump from right here. And then right here. Right here. What you want to do is you want to jump for this inner part of this house. Um, you have like a lot less leeway if you try and jump out like super far out to the side. Because then you'd have to get like the maximum uh, distance on your jump. Whereas if you just jump in towards the middle, right, or towards the uh, towards the left, right here, gives you plenty of uh, space to to jump on. And then from here, you want to jump up here. It's pretty easy. And then from here, just do this jump uh, over to the side. Just kind of like hold up left or something, and you'll get over here. So this is the um, the second hardest part of the jump. Um. From here, uh, you want to jump onto this plank right here, if you can see it. I'm mean, going to try and use my mouse to direct you. You want to jump onto this plank. And a lot of people have difficulty with this because um, they'll either jump way too late and they'll bonk on it, or they'll uh, grab it and then immediately de-grab, or not even uh, ledge grab at all. This is what frustrated me for a little bit, but... Um, Zetris, like a really, really good runner uh, of 1.5, gave me like basically the perfect advice. And this is kind of like the general rule of thumb um, for jumping on and for ledge grabbing these planks as you climb up this thing. If you can see, it's kind of dark, but if you can if you can see it, basically there are um, parts that kind of like it isn't completely straight. There are some wooden planks that are actually jutting out farther than others. For example, this part right here is the one that's jutting out to the farthest. And that's what you want to aim for. You want to jump, you want to try and grab onto that because if you try and grab one of these inner ones in here, then what you'll either do is just not grab at all or Sora will try to grab the, that plank and the inner part of the other plank uh, and will just fall because you'll try to do like a double uh, ledge grab and he'll just not grab anything at all and just you'll fall down. So the general rule of thumb is just jump for this outer plank right here and you'll get, you'll get up there just fine. So just practice doing that. From here, um, all you have to do is really jump up here. You can do uh, a jump where you don't even have to... Let me get rid of this guy. Nice. Good job, BB. Really good at making tutorials. All right, let's review. <laughs> Go all the way back here. This would be a lot easier if there weren't any enemies to uh, to bother you. But you kind of need to practice with the enemies to kind of like get used to the urgency of it all. So yeah, let's just review from, uh, from what we've just learned so far. So roll, roll, right here you want to jump from here. Jump to the inner part. Jump up here, jump up here, pretty easy jumps. Jump for the outmost plank, right there. And then you can, from here, you can uh, jump like, uh, you can get enough height and j make it so that you don't actually ledge grab at all. Let me see if I can try and show that, like right there. Uh, but if you don't really feel comfortable doing that, all you have to do is just grab on there. And from here, it's pretty much uh, smooth sailing. Like from here, you basically have done it. And what you can do is you can just continue from here all the way around and you'll make it to Lock Truck Barrel just fine. But um, what you can also do, let me get back down to, uh, 
to where I was earlier. Here we go. What you can do uh, in addition, which saves a couple of seconds, it's not completely necessary if you don't feel uh, safe about it, but I find it pretty easy. Instead of going out that way, you can actually go left. You can jump on this little house thing right here. I usually kind of, uh, as a uh, frame of reference, you see where like the teeth kind of start to appear. I kind of like line myself up with that, just maybe a little bit to the right of it, and then jump up towards the middle, and you you won't slip or anything. This is this thing is pretty much completely uh, walk onable, I guess. And uh, so yeah, so you just jump up here. And then you walk a little bit to the left to get some height, and then uh, the same uh, the same rule applies here with uh, with the other plank. You want to jump for the outmost plank so that you don't. So if you ledge grab, you won't uh, accidentally grab onto the wrong plank and just fall. Just bad, and we'll lose you time, obviously. From up here, honestly, it's a pretty easy jump that, that you don't even have to ledge grab at all. But if you are jumping from a little bit lower, because I don't know, you just don't really feel comfortable walking on this thing, you can just aim for the... I'm trying to describe a ledge grab here, come on now. If you're just like, if you just want to jump from right here, then just that plank right there is perfectly fine. And that's basically it, so yeah. It's really not too bad, like I said, I f honestly feel like getting onto the tiny little ledge off to the right, the very first tiny jump is the hardest part, because, uh... It's just so small. It's just a, a small thing to jump on, and there's an enemy right next to you when you get over there. So let's just kind of like review the whole thing. So from here, you just roll towards the middle of the stairs, jump from here, get the like the max distance, or not the max distance. You just control your uh, trajectory in midair. Jump for the utmost plank right here. Jump from here. Jump, jump. Roll, roll, jump over here, get a little bit distance over here. That time, I wouldn't really advise against that, obviously. Or I would advise against doing that, but like, it worked out for me. But like, always try and aim for that outmost plank, and uh, yeah. And you just roll on over to the evil playroom and you're good to go. Uh, so yeah, that's all from me. Hopefully this tutorial helps you out in your uh, speedrunning endeavors. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.